Western New York mother is demanding answers and raising concerns about student safety at her son's school. Now, it's a school for students with special needs. And tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller tells us that multiple staff members here have been suspended and parents are wanting to know why. For special needs handicapped children, we really need to know more than anything what is happening with our children. Jennifer Bankelman's 15-year-old son Connor is a student at the Canalesian Center for Learning, a school that caters to children with special needs in Depew. She says she recently found out a number of staff members in her son's classroom have been suspended and put on leave, but the school won't tell her why. They're more concerned with how I found out then addressing my concerns and telling me what happened so I can help my child get through this. If the parents don't know what happened, how can we help our kids? The school tells 7 Eyewitness News five staff members have been placed on leave following what the school calls an incident involving one of its former students and some staff members. The school administration would not elaborate on what that incident was. They keep giving me the runaround. They won't answer my questions. They say all they can assure me is that it wasn't physical. Binkelman says she's noticed changes in her son's behavior at home. My son has been saying things now that he's never said before. He's been calling me names that he's never said before. When I ask him where he heard those words from, he tells me to mind my own business. He's never said that before either. A lot of these students can't verbalize to tell us what happened, how they feel about it, how it affected them. We should have been told right away. Now, the Catalician Center says the safety of our students and our staff members remains our top priority. We take every reported incident very seriously and have zero tolerance for any situation that compromises the safety and integrity of our organization. The school goes on to say it is independently investigating all involved parties. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank